Trivial Pursuits is another really great Treasure episode. This is the fourth episode of the first season of the reboot. This one's directed by Kelsey Grammer. And as always, as with the previous three episodes, I really thoroughly enjoyed it. It also gets really quite emotional. So there will be spoilers from this point on as I discuss things that I liked. There's nothing in this that I didn't like. I do feel like maybe one character is overreacting a little bit. And I'll discuss what I mean by that in a moment. But generally, it's a really good episode. So spoilers from now. It starts off with trivia in the pub. And finally, Eve has a purpose. Because up until this point, Eve's not really had an important role to play. She's not really had any purpose at all. I think her biggest contribution was playing the enthusiastic academic student a couple of episodes back. But aside from that, she's definitely just been kind of floating around. But here she's actually hosting the quiz. It gives her an important role to play. She also has an important role later on in the episode when she actually gives Frasier an interesting perspective. And I like that. I like that it gave her another dimension, something else that we can say makes this character worth being in the show. And this trivia doesn't necessarily go to plan for certain people, namely Fraser and the other academics, and the firefighters do really well. It's a really good scene. It's it, it lasts quite a while. I think the scene ran on for slightly longer than it needed to, but generally it worked quite well. The bulk of the episode after that focuses on the fact that Freddy doesn't feel like Fraser respects him and his career choice, so he invites Fraser down to the firehouse. And Fraser spends a lot of time there. And I love the set design for that. It's a it's a new environment. It works really well. Definitely, definitely nice to have another location. Not that I'm going to constantly compare new Fraser to classic Fraser, but with classic Fraser, we didn't actually have that many environments. We basically had his apartment and the radio station in Cafe Nervosa, whereas with the reboot, we seem to have Quite a few additional locations, mostly I'm assuming because of budgets and the budget of the series when it first began versus however much money they've got behind this reboot. But either way, the point being, I like the fact that we have another location to explore, another set design, and I really like it. I think they've made a very good use of what is actually quite a small space. And while there, Fraser gets to see Freddy at work, and it's clear that he respects his son. But when he talks about Freddy's job, the words he chooses are not the best. But I think Freddy's overreacting. Freddy constantly, even after Fraser praises him in Fraser's way, Freddy's still saying, you're talking down to me. But I think Freddy's forgetting that his father doesn't necessarily use the vocabulary of an average person and that actually... Fraser's not intending to be nasty. That's not to say Fraser can't think about what he's saying and the effect his words has. But at the same time, Freddie needs to realise that this is how his father speaks. And I feel like Freddie should be aware of this. And I feel like, to begin with, yes, Freddie's reactions were fine. But as the episode progressed and Fraser made more of an effort, Freddie didn't actually seem to acknowledge that. And I think there needs to be a bit of give and take from both of them. Of course, we learned the truth from Fraser, which I thought was immediately obvious, but maybe not, that Freddy is actually obviously risking his life every day, and Fraser is very concerned about that. And I thought that was really obvious. And we have this really beautiful speech that Fraser gives to Eve about how Martin was a cop and he and Niles would lie in bed every night worried about him coming home or not coming home. And it was it was beautiful, very, very emotional speech. But again, I kind of felt like that was obvious that that's why he didn't want Freddie to be a firefighter because his father was in a line of work that was very risky and it's the same for Freddie. But I guess the point there is that Fraser never vocalised that to Freddie. He never told Freddie that. And communication is key, as I'm sure Fraser knows all too well. So it's an important lesson for anybody who is perhaps in a similar situation, let your loved ones know that you worry about them. Because in a way, that's a nice thing to say. And and Fraser, unfortunately, just hadn't quite grasped that concept yet. So it's a really important message. And I think hopefully a turning point for the relationship between Fraser and Freddie. I'm not expecting things to change. I think it would be awkward if they changed and unbelievable and unrealistic. But maybe now they've been able to communicate a little bit better, 
the rest of the series is not just going to be about Fraser and Freddy's relationship, but we can explore other things. So some small things that I liked about this episode outside of the realms of the main narrative. We have David kind of being shoehorned into this, I'll be honest, but at the same time, I love David, so I don't mind. He went down to the firehouse. Because of the way he was talking, it's very cleverly written. The other firefighters thought he was an orphan. And I will say at one point, they left him in charge of the firehouse. Why would you leave somebody who you think is vulnerable, as they've been treating him, in charge of a fire station? That seems like a terrible idea. But that aside, I loved them kind of encouraging David and making David feel good about himself. It was a bit awkward because we, the viewer, know he's not an orphan. But at the same time, it was sweet to see that that's how they would respond to somebody they believe to be in that situation. As I said, it did kind of feel like David was being shoehorned into the narrative, but I love David, so I'll accept it. We also have the Dalmatian. I am in love with that dog, and I hope we see more of it. It's not a replacement for Eddie, and I don't think that will ever be the case. But the fact that Frasier was able to talk about Eddie even if he referred to him as that little mongrel, it was a lovely moment. I also love the fact that one of the firefighters is called Moose. Moose is the name of the dog who played Eddie for most of Fraser. He was replaced by Moose's son. Eddie was replaced by Moose's son when Moose unfortunately passed away. But I love the fact that one of the characters is called Moose. I don't know if that was intentional. I feel like it probably was. And I rather enjoyed that aspect of it. The other thing that I thought was gorgeous is this this beautiful shot in the pub when I think I think it was Eve was walking down some stairs and we just see this giant mural of Mahoney's, the name of the pub. Obviously, it's it's named after John Mahoney, who played Martin Crane, and it it was only on screen for maybe three seconds, but it it filled the screen, and it was gorgeous, and it was absolutely beautiful. And I believe this was right before we got this speech from Fraser about how his father was a cop and, you know, he worried about him and now he worries about Freddy. And it was just a really beautifully executed scene. Definitely thoroughly enjoyed this episode. I don't know if it's my favourite. I still feel like the first two episodes were much stronger than the third and fourth episode. But I think maybe that's, well, partly because everything was new and fresh and exciting, but I just feel like they were slightly funnier but that being said, Trivial Pursuits is still brilliant, still loving the series, still desperate for some Cheers and Frasier cameos, and I, I cannot wait. I really cannot wait. Trivial Pursuits is a brilliant episode and one that I'd be very happy to watch again.